Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got some more 450 Bushmaster for you. This is the Hornady Custom 250 grain FTX load. And here is the box for that Hornady Custom 450 Bushmaster 250 grain FTX load. Let's flip it around. There is your velocity spec, 2200 foot per second at the muzzle. There's not a lot of promo information on these Hornady Custom boxes. Let's pop it open and take a look at the ammo itself. And here we go. Pull one out. That is one big old boy right there. Let's see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 450 Bushmaster, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. And over here, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Hornady Custom 250 grain FTX load out of the 450 Bushmaster. I can tell you one thing, it kicks like a freaking mule out of that Ruger American. High was 2203, low was 2164, and average was 2180. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Custom 250 grain FTX load out of the 450 Bushmaster. And I've gone ahead and flipped the blocks over because the, the bullets wound up low in the block. We can see them better. And I wanna point something out here in a second, but let's go ahead and look at penetration and both bullets got pretty deep. We have one at 25 inches and one at about 27 inches. Looks like they expanded very, very well. I did not capture the third bullet. It shot out of the block somewhere. But something I wanna note, coming back to the first block, now keep in mind I've flipped these over 180 degrees. My shots, these these bullets were hitting extremely low compared to my point of aim. I was having a um, you know Kentucky elevation this to hit the blocks. I hit the block pretty low, but as best as I can tell, the bullet never actually table skated. It stayed inside the block under gel the entire time. But what did happen, I'll go ahead and show you, I'll move the tape measure, is the expansion of the block itself sort of crushed the wood of my table so these things are dumping some considerable energy this is a solid pine 2 by 8 and you can see the surface of it is just sort of crushed in from the expansion of the gel getting out of the way of the bullet so that is pretty darn cool i'll dig these out and we can go take a look at them and here are those 250 grain FTX bullets fired from the 450 Bushmaster. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We saw 213 and 217 grains, respectively, for an average of 215 grains. And that works out to 86% weight retention. Not the highest I've seen, definitely not the lowest. But I think for what these are, that's pretty good. And then on to expansion, we saw 0.66 inches and 0.64 inches expanded diameter for an average of 0.65 inches. That works out to 1.4x expansion. And being that these are already 45 caliber from the start, I don't need to see a whole ton of expansion. I think these things did pretty good. Now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2203. Our low was 2164 for an average of 2180 versus the build velocity of 2200 feet per second. So we came in 20 feet per second slow. That's really, really close, y'all. Usually it's quite a bit slower than that, depending on what kind of caliber you're shooting. This is pretty darn good. It's right there. And then on to penetration, we saw 25 inches and 27 inches for an average of 26 inches of penetration. That is plenty for anything that I'm going to be hunting with this stuff. Deer, black bear, wild hogs. It's right there in that deep 20 inch range. That's good for a lot of your larger medium game. And as far as kinetic energy goes, with an average velocity of 2180 feet per second and a 250 grain bullet, 
that works out to 2,638 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, it is time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Custom 450 Bushmaster load, the 250 grain FTX bullet. Overall, I thought this load did really, really well. Weight retention was up there 86%, not the best I've seen, far from the worst. It's still a lot of mass moving through a target, so I'm happy with it. Expansion was pretty good. We're talking about a 45 caliber bullet from the start. Doesn't need to get a whole lot bigger to lay the hammer down. 1.4x expansion, I think that's plenty for 458 Bushmaster. Velocity wise, we actually came within 20 feet per second on average of the box spec. That is hard to come by. You don't see that too often. And our high velocity was actually over box spec by three feet per second. Now that's saying a lot because my rifle, it is the Ruger American Ranch version of the 450 Bushmaster. It's got that short 16 inch barrel. So if you've got a longer barreled 450 Bushmaster, one of the Henry single shots, I know CVA makes a single shot, I think with a 24 inch or 25 inch barrel. Um, there's Ruger number ones out there with longer barrels. This ammo is really screaming. You might get a bit extra velocity with this stuff if you've got an even longer barrel. Mine was a short little 16 inch barrel. Still got the job done. And then penetration was really good. 26 inches on average. This stuff is going to go through anything that you need it to. Overall, I think this is an excellent example of 450 Bushmaster ammunition that could be used for hunting. I would not hesitate to use this stuff on deer, wild hogs, even black bear, stuff like that. Um, really, what it would boil down to is this is one of the better 450 Bushmaster loads I think that I've tested. It would be which one of the you know handful of really good ones shot the most accurately out of my particular rifle. So if this stuff shoots accurately for you, I wouldn't hesitate to use it. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.